Prepare your hot plate by removing all existing screws and springs from each of the four studs protruding through the plate. Take the supplied nylon washers and apply it directly onto the hot plate over the stud. Do this for all four studs that protrude through the hot plate. Next, take one of the nuts that is supplied in the kit. Screw them over the stud. It is important that when doing this, you torque down the nut by hand as reasonably hard as you can. Be sure to do this for all four studs that protrude through the hot plate. Next, take another nut. Screw this nut down onto the stud. This nut will be butted up against the first nut. By applying torque to this nut, you will lock both of the nuts in place, allowing the stud to remain rigid and firm and secure. You may use a tool to only torque down the topmost nut onto the bottom nut. Do not over apply torque. Repeat this process for all four studs that protrude through the hot plate. Now, Take one of the wing nuts that is supplied in the kit. You'll be screwing this onto the stud upside down. Get it to the point where it's about halfway on the stud. Be sure to do this for all four studs that protrude through the hot plate. Now, locate all four studs and their corresponding Y-axis gantry holes. Take the hot plate and place the stud through the Y-axis gantry stud holes. Take the remaining wing nuts and apply them to the stud. Do this for all four studs that protrude through the hot plate. To move a corner of the bed up, simply locate the bottommost wing nut and loosen it. Once you have loosened it, take the topmost wing nut and tighten it. This will move the bed in the upward direction. To move a corner of the bed down, locate the topmost wing nut and loosen it. Next, locate the bottommost wing nut and tighten it. This will pull the bed down. To secure your position and to lock the position in place, simply ensure that both wing nuts are torqued onto the Y-axis gantry. And last, check the level of your bed. Once your bed is leveled to the desired position, simply torque the nuts down into place and it will hold that position for a very long time to come.